the ETF that tracks the largest mainland Chinese stocks falling more than 5% today. Options traders, though, jumping in, playing for some upside. Is that right, Pete Nigerian? That's exactly right. That's a great teaser you put out there ahead of time, Scott, because quite honestly, down over 5% today and all of a sudden earlier in the day, very early in the day, it's one of the first unusual option activities we had hit on our systems. They were buying the June 29 strike calls. A couple thousand of those trading for about 60 cents, Scott. Positioning, now this is not a name that, that we don't talk about because we do. We talk about this one a fair amount because over the last two months or so, some pretty aggressive buying going on. This time they're stretching it out to June, so they bought a little bit of time. Time and they're buying the upside. At the time that this was actually executed, ASHR was actually trading at just over 27, 27.35, something like that, as they were buying these June 29s. I got a really big one, too, that I think is pretty interesting in terms of the triple Q, Scott. Now, this one was large. They're going for May. They're going the last expiration in May, May 31st, the 190 calls, 20,000 of those were bought, around $1.60 to $1.70. That's a big aggressive buy. That's a lot of money somebody's putting down, looking for a bounce out of the triple Qs, and that was trading right when the triple Qs were around 188.20, somewhere in that sort of a range. I got another one for you. Let's get to an individual name. How about Nike? We talk about all these trade wars and everything else and some of the stocks that are affected. Nike's down over 3% today, and yet we're seeing some very aggressive buying today at the 84 strike out in May as well. So we've got Nike hitting. That one's pretty interesting. I got one last unusual for you, actually. It was great to see you on Billions last night, Scott. You were fantastic. That's unusual activity. Great to see you, brother.